Okay, welcome back to TFO TV and thank you for joining The Average Golfer. This video is a little bit different than what I normally produce because I took a journey on Monday, a very cold, a very snowy journey down to Gainsborough in the UK and I went to see how Ping make their golf clubs and I filmed it. And I've got to say, it was completely different than what I was expecting. I was thinking I was going to see a lot of conveyor belts, a lot of machinery, very much an automated process where the product popped out at the end and was ready for delivery. And that couldn't be further from the truth because there's a lot of care, there's a lot of love and attention that goes into building Ping Golf Clubs virtually by hand, as you'll see very, very shortly. Um, also, have you ever wondered where Ping got its name from? We'll also answer that question at the very end. So stick around until the end of this video to find out that. Right, I'm gonna leave it there. That's me done. All I would ask, if you like the video, thumbs up, subscribe if you don't already, but just sit back and enjoy and find out how Ping makes it possible. Um, so Ping started, uh, was founded by Carson Solheim, who was a, uh, an engineer, worked for General Electric uh, and Ryan Aeronautical. Uh, frustrated golfer when he took up golf, he wasn't a very good golfer, um, and looked at the putters in the time and thought he could improve, it, uh, improve the design of the putter. So he came up with, with this design of putter, um, sort of t took out the middle, tried to get a little bit of heel and toe weighting in it, and uh, when you hit the ball, the putter goes pin, and that's how the company got its name. 